What is the iBubble underwater drone and is it worth the money? Hi, I'm Paul from Waterline Academy and in today's video we're going to talk about the iBubble underwater drone technology. Drone technology has come a long way in the last couple of years. iBubble have taken all of the most advanced technology from flying drones and crammed it into the first consumer underwater drone. Let's take a look at the features of the iBubble and perhaps some of the problems of buying the first underwater drone on the consumer market. The iBubble is entirely autonomous and it has a one hour battery life. You'll be able to create professional grade camera movements. It has an image stabilizing system. You can take manual control over the unit. It's easy to handle, has a simple manual mode switch and returns automatically to follow mode. It's GoPro compatible from Hero 3 upwards. It has image stabilizing software which has been developed in-house. Integrated obstacle avoidance system based on sonar technology. Now sonar has been around for a long time, so this should be a really good technology. It did take aerial drones quite a long time to master that and it withstands currents up to three knots. Eight brushless motors for 3D mobility and stability. It has two thousand lumen lights, moving subject tracking switch, automatically resurfaces in case of emergency. There is an upgrade option for an explorer's radio control pack which gives you a remote control with the live feedback to the surface. The dimensions of the units are 50 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 25 centimeters and weighs about 5 kilos. The maximum depth rating is 60 meters and a range of 25 meters from the diver. There is a connected bracelet with 8 embedded camera movements including come to me feature. You can get apps on iOS or Android and you can wirelessly stream footage to your smartphone. So let's take a look at some of the problems you might experience with the first underwater consumer drone. It's safe to say that the first version of the iBubble might experience problems underwater that the makers can't predict. The technology that they use in the air has been tested and proven over the last number of years. The underwater environment is a lot more harsh than the aerial world. As divers you know that a water current is going to be a lot stronger than an air current. Fighting strong winds is something aerial drones already battle with. iBubble themselves have said that fighting currents is something that they're still working on. As scuba divers, we're used to paying a little bit more for the equipment that we use. At $1,899, the iBubble comes in at almost twice the price as other aerial drones. My conclusion on the iBubble is that I would quite simply love one. I think the technology is fantastic and if I had a spare $2,000 lying around, I wouldn't hesitate. I am slightly risk averse when it comes to spending money on unproven technology. And seeing as I don't have a spare $2,000 lying around, I think I'll wait until the next model comes out when I can see that any bugs have been worked out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of the iBubble and future developments that you'd like to see out of underwater drone technology.